Welcome to Code Report. I'm your host, Connor Hoekstra. Happy holidays and happy new year. For those of you wondering where I've been and why am I not making videos anymore, I apologize. I was back in Canada for the last couple weeks visiting with my family, and I did plan on making at least one video where I would be mentioning that I was taking a couple weeks off, uh, but unfortunately I got back there and things got crazy and I didn't end up making that video. So I apologize for that and leaving you guys hanging, but now I'm back in Silicon Valley, so I should be back to posting videos regularly. That being said, I'm actually only going to be posting uh, one video over the next week, which will be the next upcoming Sunday uh episode. And that's because a week from today, I'll be giving a talk at the C++ user group meeting for the uh, Bay Area called Algorithm Intuition. Um, so for those of you that don't know, there are C++ user group meetings all around the world. I totally recommend you going and checking out your local one. If you go to the isocpp.org website and then to the super FAQ section, you can see in the overview topics, you have this user groups worldwide. And then you can basically check by country if there are any local C++ user groups near you. And the one that I will be presenting at is the uh, Bay Area C++ user group meeting, which actually goes by the title ACCU Bay, Bay Area. If you click on this, it will take you to the meetup page for this. Uh, in this photo here, you can see Richard Powell. He works at Apple and helps run it. Uh, in this photo is John Kalb. He's the organizer of both the CppCon and C++ Now conferences. And he helps organize this group as well. And also Bryce Lelbach, who works at NVIDIA, helps organize and run this uh, user group meeting as well. So if you look at the meetups, you can see next Tuesday, there is sort of a university uh, meetup group that is teaching uh, C++. And if you click on meetups, you can see upcoming after that is the algorithm intuition talk that I'll be giving. So in this talk, I'll be talking about how you can develop some intuition similar to how we have intuition about data structures, when to use sets, unordered sets, uh, the same thing for certain types of algorithms that you can find in the STL algorithm library. Unfortunately, this talk won't be recorded. Uh, but hopefully I'll be giving this talk at a conference in the future and it will be posted online at that point. So if you're not in the Bay Area, unfortunately, you probably won't be able to go to this. But if you are and you have free time, feel free to stop by and check it out. If you plan on going to the talk, and even if you don't plan on going to the talk, I highly recommend watching Sean Perrin's C++ seasoning talk from a few years ago. My talk was partially inspired by... Uh, Sean's talk and it will help motivate why I am covering the content that I'm covering in my talk but it's not necessary uh, so if you don't have time don't worry about it but I would definitely put this on your watch list at some point in the future because this is by far one of the best talks on C++ in general in my opinion. On top of that it's being held at NVIDIA uh, so if you've been there before, you'll obviously know how to get there. But if you haven't, uh, NVIDIA's headquarters are located in Santa Clara in the Silicon Valley area. And um, be sure to note that the spaceship building, which is sort of known as NVIDIA's headquarters, which is located here, is not where the talk is being held. So this is the spaceship building that if you live in the Bay Area, you might be familiar with. Uh, the talk's being held at 2800 Scott Boulevard in Building E, which uh, if you're on Scott Boulevard, you can turn into the parking lot here, and then uh, in front of one of the buildings, you should see a sign that says C++ user group meeting. So hope to see you there if you're in the area. And without further ado, let's take a look at the contest that happened last week. Two weeks ago, we had five contests. On Tuesday the 18th, we had round 527 from Code Forces. On Friday, we had the start of the Hacker Earth December Circuits contest. On Saturday, we had the weekly leak code contest number 116. And on Sunday, we had from Code Forces round 528 and from Code Chef the December cookoff contest. Just last week, we had 
a bunch of contests on Thursday we had from Code Forces round 529 and then in the evening on Thursday we had from Top Coder the SRM 745 on Friday we had from Code Forces Educational 57 on Saturday morning we had from Code Chef the lunchtime contest on Saturday evening we had from Leak Code the weekly Leak Code contest number 117 and on Sunday we had the Code Forces Goodbye 2018 contest and throughout last week we had the Hacker Earth December circuits contest. So taking a look at the overall top 10 leaderboards for all of these contests, starting off with the Code Forces websites, believe it or, believe it or not, across uh, the four contests here, we only had one individual that placed multiple times in the top 10, and that was this individual whose name I will uh, butcher as Kridgert J, uh, who placed fourth in the round 527 contest and third in the round 529 contest. We had a bunch of other familiar names though. In second in the 527 contest was KMJP. In division one of the 528 contest, the top five in order were MNBV Mar, Vuv, Eknerwala, Umnik, and Raidwoosh. And in the 529 contest, we also had familiarly in sixth place, I Love Tanya Romanov. Moving on to the last Code Forces contest, Goodbye 2018, and the contest from Hacker Earth and Code Chef, uh, we had Tourist, aka Gennady Kordakevich, who placed first in both the Code Forces and the Code Chef contest, and then ninth in the Hacker Earth December Circuits contest, and once again, a bunch of other familiar names. So in third, in the Goodbye 2018 contest, we had Umnik. I don't know why Umnik's color has changed from red. That looks to be a bug. And in fourth, we had Eknerwala. In fifth, we had Raid Woosh. And tied in sixth, we had Dotoria. And in ninth, we had Scott Wu, followed by LHIC in tenth. And then in the Coach Up contest, we had a couple other familiar names. In second, we had NUIP. Fourth was Natsugiri. And eighth was KM Code. And last but not least, we had the Leak Code Contest and the Top Coder Contest. In the Leak Code Contest, we had three individuals with back-to-back -back top 10 finishes. We had Natsugiri, who placed in first and fifth, respectively. Uh, Yubo Winok, who placed in ninth and second, respectively. And Double X, who placed in fifth and fourth, respectively. And then from Top Coder, the SRM745 contest was just a for-fun contest, so they only had one division. And you can see uh, some familiar names there as well. And first was Stonefin. And third was MNBV Mar. In fourth, the Canadian K Sun 48. In seventh, eight, MJ Hun. And in tenth, we had Scott Wu. And taking a look at the overall top 10 leaderboard for the Code Forces website, Tourist was temporarily dethroned from the number one spot um, by the Polish Raid Woosh, but Tourist has taken that number one spot back and Raid Woosh is now back in second. In third, we now have Umnik, who jumped up from ninth spot. In fourth, uh, we have 00, who dropped down one. LHIC was able to jump up from 10th into the fifth spot. Eknerwala jumped back into the top 10 at number six. Vuv also jumped back into the top 10 at number seven. Scott Wu dropped three spots from fifth to eighth. Uh, XYZ triple one jumped into the top 10 and that's the first time I've seen this individual's handle so congratulations to XYZ111 if this is the first time being in the top 10 and rounding out the top 10 was Piotr. Taking a look at the contests that are happening in this current week seeing as I'm, release, I'm releasing this video on Wednesday night uh, we have four contests. So we have the start of the Code Chef Long Challenge for January. So be sure to partake in that contest. As as usual, I'll be doing a video dump for uh, four to five of the problems in that contest. Also on Friday, we have from Code Forces the Hello 2019 contest. On Saturday morning, we have from Hacker Earth the January Easy contest. And rounding off the week, we have the Weekly Lead Code contest number 118. As always, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit that like button. If you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter for reminders 30 minutes before contest start, and you can find all of the code shown in my videos on my GitHub page. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.